Ahoy, mateys! We're at Slayman Main Stadium in Terrebay, home of the Mutineers. The hometown crowd is going crazy. Yeah, they want to see the Mutineers win some booty. That's the Obama word for sportsmanship. Yeah, right. Booty call. Woohoo! Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Baltimore Razors take on the Terror Bay Mutineers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> If you're just waking up wondering who put that vice on your head and filled your mouth with vacuum cleaner, dirt, and cattle litter, you're not alone. After all, it's Sunday, MFL game day. Hey, you look tired, Junior. And Bricks, you look like they just used your head in field goal practice. Spent all my ER. We ate Chinese food last night. Food poisoning? I wish. I got the chopsticks lodged in my ears again. You know, they should have a warning on them things. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot eight. He's not going down. A pickup of about three on that play. And that'll be second and eight to go. Hot one, hot two, hot When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Nice run for five yards. Second down and five. Remember, folks, in the MFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback just like that. catches and watch his confidence taken. If you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. Third down and never get... And they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. 
here. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. Oh, man, that worm just ate the player alive. You got to steer clear of the pits. You know, my sister had a tape for him almost that big. His name was Frederick. I didn't know that they made great house pets. He just got to sleep in leather underpants. The little buggers like the bird. First and ten. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the changes, Gordon, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. You can't keep a good mutant down. Murphy Brown! What? What the hell was that? I, uh, I honestly don't know, Grim. And it's first and ten. Team last week, I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. hot. Oh, mama, he just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. Second down and five. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. And he laterals at the last second. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Hey, you kill a ref. It's not murder if they have it coming right. Take the hand, do something about that mess, you fuckers. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. <laughs> Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Hot one. QB is saying his prayers. And he was steering a pick. 
pick six, but dropped the interception. And it plays a defense, schmuck. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. And up comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. The punter for today is being played by my kid's sister, or at least it seems like it. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And this guy runs angry and runs hard. First down. And it's first and ten. Touchdown on that deflection. Second down and ten. Oh, with the punishing hit. Third down and five. First and ten. He blasted and picks up seven yards right there. Second and three. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. The way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. First down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot eight. Second down and seven. Oh! And the defense jumps on sides and attacks the game. In some leagues, you aren't even allowed to touch the QB. In the NFL, they have plays just for killing them. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Second and three. And they call a ginormous dirty trick. He's so big that the last time he saw 90210 was on. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned out the light, it wasn't a frog in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. <laughs> First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot eight. Second down in a very lot. One, eight. Oh, there goes the ball. It's a fumble. Is it still a fumble if his hands are attached to the ball? 
The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. Third down and three. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. He had it for a second there. The offense is down to their last quarterback. If they lose him, they lose the game. Oh, boy, they're going for it. This could get uglier than the baby resulting from an orcish family. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost injection. Close your eyes, Bricks. This is going to get ugly fast. They run it on fourth down and pick it up. That's four new downs and some big, big baboon balls. Grim, did you just say big, big baboon balls? Yes, I did. Nice. like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Man, this guy couldn't hit the side of a fallout shelter. <laughs> when you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. How do you miss a bomb kill right in someone's face? This your first time playing the game? Hey, you with the controller in your hand. I'm talking to you. Second down and ten. They could not connect on that play. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. <laughs> The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. And it's first and ten. second time out, but they're running out of time. A uh, bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point. And drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. Uh. And he picks up about six on the play. That's it. That's their last time out. It's them against the other team and the clock. Ah, uh, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer on the field and even the Huh? 
You've got to catch that. <laughs> and kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty Newtons on the defensive line. That looked like the QB's fault. If he held the ball spikes out like he was supposed to, the kicker would have never missed. And it's first and ten. Guys, like a human cannonball. First down. And my next door neighbor was a human cannonball, Grim. He drowned in his pool. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. And it's first and ten. was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Prince's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaur. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, they're going to go into a strip show. Where are we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. And hey, nobody can touch you when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my offseason. And it's first and ten. Well, fee, fi, fo, fum. I'm not finishing that joke, Grim. The only That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. Second down and a lot. Play. 
And that'll bring up third down and seven. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. That's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. Yeah, you know, they're all in politics, apparently. <laughs> and the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. Sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And that'll be second and eight to go. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. Third and four. Oh, man, the defense brought a sack lunch today. No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time on NFL Game Day. Uh, NFL isn't straight through the uprights. <laughs> When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. This guy's gonna get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and 10. First down! Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Tired of the quarterback's tight spiral. If this guy could talk before he died, what do you think he'd be saying, Bricks? Psycho killer! Just to say, what the fuck, 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 fuck! First down and one. here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room and he misses that extra point oh well, look at clown shoes down there is he wearing actual clown shoes i think so it's probably why he missed let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty whichever My friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. First down! I've seen this guy drop a lot of balls in the past. The team getting penalized needs to go into their dirty tricks and attack the ref. Come on, guys, get with it. Attack him and kill him. Jeez. 
They're back up here on first, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> Six-yard gain. Second down in a mile. And there's a huge gain, and this offense is rolling. Wow, it took like a thousand volts of shock there. They did that to my Aunt Lizzie because she thought she was the reincarnation of Lizzie Ford and the Axe Murderer. Did the shock treatment work? Well, after she killed four of the doctors and zapped her, they never bothered her again. So, yeah, I guess it worked for her. First and ten. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! But with kickers, you never know. You have got to be kidding me. My sister could have made that kick. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. That's the end of the third quarter. This game is going to come down to the wire. I love that show. And it's first and ten. And he picked up a lot of real estate in a hurry. Give him ten yards right there. Second down in inches. He hit that line the way a Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. And it's first and ten. First and ten. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Wow, look at that freak go! He's unstoppable! And a hard run there picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. Bricks. You never know when one of those hot potatoes is going to blow. You just crap your pants, Junior. 
First down and five. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. Yeah, man, he's going to get him now. You know what happened? And here comes the extra point attempt. right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. And we'll throw that one out of bounds. Second down and ten. a nice run for a first down. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. has lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Grim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, I think a few little expenses, that is. Second down and a very lot. And that's a pick. Is cursing the defense, his receiver, the coach, everyone but himself. And he's the one that threw the ball. Come on. Get it right. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have to manage the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. You understand, Tony? I'll wreck your world. And it's first and ten. Say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Second down and seven. And the two minute warning sounds, they'll have to regroup during this timeout. <laughs> Second down and seven. That was a good throw, assuming he was aiming for the ground. And that'll bring up third down and seven. And that is caught for a first down. The defense calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. First down and nine. And the defense gives up five yards there. The D 
defense has to make something happen here with one timeout left. And that'll be second down and four. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Hey. Okay, the mad kill. Kim on up. Yeah, yeah, I got to get him out. Get him out. And they line up for the extra point. You gotta be kidding me! My sister could have made that kick! Isn't your sister in a wheelchair? I know, right? The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. gonna hurt he may not be able to comprehend math after that hit what's math exactly and it's first and ten wow the quarterback just threw a sonic blast to his receiver he's rumbling and stumbling he could go all the way First down and long. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. <laughs> the quarterback goes into a hurry up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? Pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second down, and they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up at the crack of noon. We're talking about the MFL, you moron. If that hit didn't quibble him, it certainly left skid marks. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Caught for the first down. And it's first and ten. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. The Terra Bay Buneers lose at home today. They were sucked by the opposition. What a cannonball. And let's go down the field and hear the MVP. He's a real role model for the kids, Bricks. That is, if you want your kids to be a roid raging narcissist with uncontrollable verbal diarrhea. Well, that personality disorder has a name. It's called autotropism. <laughs> with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...